Here's the updated college football ladder after week eight. This is the clear bottom of the barrel. These teams still have zero points through eight weeks of the college football season. At level one, we've pretty much got the bottom of the barrel of the power five, plus some pretty good non-power five teams. But in level two, we start seeing something pretty interesting. For the first time this season, multiple teams have been hitting negative metrics that have counted against them in the ladder. Teams such as Colorado and Vanderbilt have gone down one level because they've allowed teams to score 250 or more points against them so far this year. Additionally, we also see teams like Iowa go down one level from level four to level three because they lost to an unranked team as a ranked team. On the flip side though, we have teams like JMU, Liberty, and Iowa State who have gone up one level because so far this year, their defense has got 30 total sacks or 12 interceptions. Also, quick shout out to Virginia for beating a top 10 team. They get out of level zero, go to level two. This here though is the upper echelon of college football. Just as a reminder, many of these teams down here have benefited from some of the preseason points. If you started the year with a blue chip ratio, were a top 25 team or a power five team, you automatically started the year with a point for that respective category. So teams like Georgia, Alabama, Texas, Ohio State all benefited tremendously from that. But on the flip side, you have some teams like Florida State, Notre Dame, and Washington that have all had some pretty good wins this season. But here's how Ohio State rose to the top after eight weeks of college football. Started off the year with all three preseason points. It beat two top 10 opponents in that week at Penn State and Notre Dame, which were two points per win. And they've also earned one point for three wins and one point for getting six wins. One thing that I really like about the latter additionally is it really shows the strength of some conferences relative to some schedules. For example, we have three ACC teams that are in the top 25-ish that are all level four. But in a down year for the SEC, we have teams like Missouri, Ole Miss, LSU, and Alabama that are still clear above them. It also gives more respect to teams that should probably be talked about more, such as Oregon State, Utah, and Ole Miss. And if you want me to make a video describing how your team got to the level that they're on, make sure you comment it and I'll make a whole video for your team.